Hey guys, Phil from Fox Tech, and today I have something very, very good for you. And this is a new HD transmission and also receiver system, and for especially for the Pixhawk. And we are familiar with the DJI's Phantom, Inspire, uh, Mavic, and all the things are having the all-in-one uh, video transmission solution based on. 720p, but uh, when you are going to do something of your own like this, this is the Fox Hack Hover 1. It's a DIY machine and you can install all the hardware, including a flight control like a Pixhawk you want, but you still need HD transmission. And now, what's the solution? And the solution is right here. It's the inside HD transmission and the receiver system and the longest distance I know, but we use the, the stock antenna and the stock antenna right here to achieve 2.1 kilometers in air already. So I suppose if we change the antennas here into a patch more directional antenna, we can get more range. Okay, let me show some details of you. And what you are seeing is the transmitter right here, mounted right here. And uh, actually the power consumption is quite low. It's only 100 milliwatt. And you can see it supports uh, the HD input from a GoPro mounted on the gimbal. And it has a power supply wire right here. And then on the other side, we can see a Mavlink data uh, port right here. Because uh, I already mount my Pixhawk on my Hover 1. So actually, uh, you can see all the data, all the data from the flight control directly on the cell phone. Of course, it's using the tower inside, especially modified tower uh, software. You can see the map and you can see the HD transmission video right here. And then later, we, we also can see the, all the flying data right here. Amazing, right? Okay. Since the transmitter has only the power of 100 milliwatt, so it's compatible with uh, most FCC, CE, so don't worry to use it. Then the receiver is quite amazingly small. You can see I already mounted the receiver right here, and it says uh, equipped with the 5D by 5.8G uh, receiver antenna. You can see, uh, of course, we can take it off. Yeah, it's a RPSMA, RPSMA socket. So later you can change to bigger antenna. And you can see the receiver is already powered on with two LEDs uh, indicating the data is uh, in transmission. And uh, uh, what's amazing thing is that the receiver has a built-in battery for working two hours. And you can see how low power consumption it is. And uh, we can see, also can see a USB port right here. I think maybe we, later we can update software and firmware in the uh, on off button right here. So it's amazingly small and amazingly light so you won't feel it on your radio. And by using a tab or cell phone, you can achieve most and even more functions comparing with the DJI Inspire or whatsoever. Uh, because in the Pixhawk software, you can um, actually program a lot of things. Uh, for example, uh, uh, unlimited waypoints and the waypoints action uh, doing a circle whatsoever. It has so many functions we can achieve with uh, Pixhawk with uh, this software. So then we can do all the things with this one. Okay, then by seeing the wireless video transmitted to my uh, cell phone, you can see actually the video lag is very small and the official announcement saying the video latency is around uh, 80 milliseconds. Actually, I can find it's a little bit higher than that. It's around uh, zero 0.15, na uh, namely this is 150 millisecond. And uh, you can see uh, what I found also is quite convenient is uh, here, we can use 
the software to control the gimbal. So you don't need extra channel on your radio to control the gimbal. You can do everything, namely everything on the smartphone's app. And uh, since we have a little bit of problem with our, you know, the website, uh, not on the network. So uh, normally we can see the map right here. And then after taking off, we can see the, all the data from here. So you don't need an actual OSD for your um, analog video. Now it's time to enter the digital area of time, say, whatsoever. Uh, but uh, for this small size, low latency, long range, and what I have to add on is uh, uh, the our transmission system is based on 5.8G 5G network, so it's uh, of course very environmental friendly. And then, um, what's the, well, and uh, I uh, quite anxious to do the flying test for this amazing video transmission system. Okay, so this is so much about the brief introduction about the amazing system, the video transmission system, the insight. And you can then later find this product available on foxtechappb.com. And if you like our website, YouTube channel, and our service, don't forget to subscribe us. And this is Fu from Foxtech. And like always, have a nice day, and I'll be watching you in next video. And uh, bye.